Hi guys, managed to get hold of some of these unstoppable T2 trading cards. This is a hobby box. It apparently contains the full 72 card set, nine foil cards plus one sketch card, one autograph card, and either one genuine 1992 film cell or one printing plate. I'd prefer the printing plate over the film cell, I reckon. Um, first impressions, very well designed. Incredibly small package. So, let's see what's in here. Quite shocked that they're loose, rattling around. There's the 72 card base set. Film cell. I genuinely don't know what that is. I think it's Sarah Connor in the back of the van. I'll hold it up to the light and get a picture for the end. Let's see. What autograph card? A cutter autograph would be ideal. Nope, it's Gibbons. And the sketch card is the T-1000. Signed at the back, Bianca. That's pretty cool. Abdul Salam El Razak. Hope I said that correctly. Gibbons, you can't leave the desk like that. Right. What did I pay? Fifteen pound. Plus three fifty post and packaging. Don't worry guys, my hands are clean. Worth it? I don't know. Let's have a look at the cards. I certainly wouldn't like to pay uh, 40, 50 pounds for these that some people have been paying. I just put a cheeky offer in and it was accepted. I'm assuming a lot of the sellers are fed up with the boxes of them as well. The autograph cards, they're mostly of the lesser famous people. The quality of these cards is excellent. The back of the cards clearly make a bigger image. I'll have to investigate those. Be nice to get one frame, maybe. Yeah, cards are cool.
for a one-of-a-kind sketch card, that's that's good. Yeah, let me know what you think. Um, would I buy another? Probably not. Even at eighteen pound fifty. Um, but they're cool. They're nice. Just to add, it's in, if I can get the light right, it's in the back of the van. When the T-1000 is chasing in the helicopter. Yeah, thanks guys.